So I'm back. My episode has aired. My episode of Say Yes to the Dress has actually aired. Okay. I've been talking about this in my vlogs for so long that it feels crazy to come back to you and say, you know, it happened. Before Christmas, they contacted me and they were just like, boom, this is when it's airing. This is what time. I was just like, oh my God. Like, it just made my Christmas. Because, you know, on holidays, everybody asks you, what you up to? What you been doing? And it's just like, uh. but this Christmas, I was screaming to the whole world what I had going on. My episode aired on February 9th. And it was just so amazing to finally be able to see myself on TV. I feel like the power of the tongue because I really spoke this into existence. I know a lot of people thought, you know, what's going to happen because it was it had been a year out. I actually was in L.A. when my episode aired, which is also so crazy because it just it just goes to show you like everything happens on god's time it's all god's timing i did have a viewing party in michigan so all of my family got together and they watched it and obviously they watched it before i did because i was in la but it was just so crazy to because I, I was getting my hair done while it was airing in michigan so i had like 30 texts i can't i left my phone i was like i don't even want to be by my phone right now like let me just leave my phone to the side so when i went back to my phone i had like 30 text messages people blowing me up like you look so beautiful you did so good i love your dress i was just like oh my god so i kind of like got feedback before watching it myself so i was kind of like a little chill watching it but not so much <laughs> amazing space that we have here. We've got over 20,000 square feet of the most amazing bridal selection of gowns in Canada. I was just recently in New York and I was so lucky to go to Randy Finoli's show. So we're launching his gowns oh, here I in Canada, watch which is oh. really awesome. I'm so excited. <laughs> so I'm like, wow. I definitely feel queen-like and royal-like walking in because the ambiance here is just beautiful. Like Everything just looks so lavish and it just makes you feel like, hey, this is where I should be. <laughs> Hello, beautiful ladies. Hi. Who's the bride? You got to be the bride. I'm, I'm Randy. Hi, Randy. So tell us about your fiance. Uh, my fiance, he plays professional basketball. Oh. Okay. I love that. My fiance's name is Devin Marble. He played with the Orlando Magic for like two you years. You watch this. Third year. Okay. Overseas, and I quit my job to join thing. my boyfriend, then boyfriend, overseas. <laughs> At first, I thought I was insane for packing up my life and just dropping everything and moving. But it just, it was so worth it. And now he's trying to get back you know, to the NBA. He spoils me like no other. He just really believes in me. He supports everything that I do. And my routine is just... Oh, website club. I've kind of tailored it more to just kind of cater into myself because I am getting into modeling and I am a vlogger so my appearance is really important so if he's a first out there myself then you are a <laughs> So the show was just everything that I thought it would be and more. I'm really happy to see what comes from it. You know, it felt really good to be in L.A. and just tell people what I'm up to. You know, I never really have much to say because I'm aspiring to do the things I speak on. I did get some negative feedback just when that's just me searching for negative feedback because I actually read some of the comments on the TLC page and, you know, it was a lot for me. It's unfortunate to hear what people have to say about you when they don't know you from Adam. You know, these people don't know me. They don't know anything about me. But you think since you saw, you know, 45 minutes of me on television that you know my whole life. And you don't. And, you know, there's a lot more to this life than just money and having nice things and material things. Because material things are not everything. That's not all that life is about. You know, life is about in being internally happy and... I feel like, you know, a lot of people don't think that I deserve whatever, you know, God is placing in front of me, but that's just it. God is placing this in front of me. You know, I had a friend in Greece, such a great friend, Brittany. Um, she told me, you know, like, this is the life that God chose for you and you don't have to feel bad about it. And, you know, after she told me that, I just really started looking at things differently because, yes, this is the life that God chose for me. God saw me fit to live the life that I'm living. 
and I'm gonna live it accordingly. You could have never told me that my episode would air, I would be in LA and I would be in LA because I was going to the Grammys. That's just something that's unfathomable. And for that to happen just lets me know like, my faith is strong and I'm gonna continue to pray and speak things into existence. Having faith in the Lord is what has brought me this far and what allows me to know that I'm gonna make it to where I want to go. Very close. footage from LA simply because when I go places like I like to enjoy myself this is why I need my own TV show because I need a camera crew to record me enjoying myself like I had a great time in LA but you know sometimes I just don't have time to whip out my camera record every single thing that I'm doing I just want to see it with my own eyes not, not through my lens and you know it gets hard to vlog when I'm actually enjoying myself. The highlights of the Grammys for me were the fact that I was in the same building as Michelle Obama. That took me out when that woman hit the stage. I said, because they were doing like super extreme um, um, security checks for our like our cars and our driver. Like our, the driver had to like open the trunk. They went in different compartments. And my cousin, he goes to the Grammys every year. And he was like, they've never done this before. So when we got inside and we find out it's because the president's wife, please, the first lady was there. It was just so crazy. Like that was lit. Um, seeing my favorite rapper, I didn't know Drake was gonna be there. Seeing Cardi B, Cardi B was so great i loved her performance like and then just watching her win that grammy just did something to me because it's like you know despite all odds I, she's doing what she wants to do and what she's always dreamed of doing and things that she probably didn't need she probably didn't even know it could go this far and i could just see in her face because i was there i could see her face i could just see in her face that she was just so taken back and just just so humbled by the whole situation it was really amazing to watch but here are some of the performances that i liked <laughs> upon returning from LA literally so much happened like um Devin got to Michigan on the 11th from Italy I got here on the 12th at 6 a.m didn't go to sleep right away when I got here because of course Devin wanted to watch a movie and all these things because for whatever reason he hadn't been to sleep either so we're just up so that whole day was like a blur for me and then the next day we actually had to go to our wedding tasting which was so nice because the food was so bomb but I was literally dead tired 
and I tried to vlog it, but I just look so through in the face. But I mean, I do have some things just to show you guys, you know, what's kind of going on with the wedding planning side of things. Um, wedding planning is about to is about to take me out. <laughs> wedding planning, it, it's just so stressful. And it's not even stressful for the reasons that you would think it might be, just the idea of like, oh, you're getting married, I'm stressed. No, the stressful part about planning is dealing with everyone else's opinions and what other people have to say and what other people want you to do and how other people feel about what you're doing. And it's just like so crazy because if any day, this is the one day where it literally doesn't matter how anyone feels but me. So having to deal with all these opinions is just like, but wedding planning is coming along <laughs> and uh, here's the tasting. See the diamonds in my chain, Cubans leaving bruises on me now. Cake is for sure, <laughs> and I haven't even tasted it. So if we start on the far left of your plate, we have our traditional um, crab cake with our remoulade sauce. Mm -hmm. Then we have our vegetarian spring roll, the sweet chili sauce. In the center of the plate, we have our cherry walnut bread with a blue cheese cream, smoked chicken, a little cherry compote on top. Ooh. Then to the right of that, we have our beef Wellington with our Bernay sauce. And then we have our tandoori chicken skewer with our peanut sauce. And then in the center of the table, we have our shrimp cocktail. It's traditionally served in the shot glass. On the plates, we have it with our uh, cocktail sauce and our Thank you everyone who has subscribed to my channel, who has followed me on Instagram. I hope that you guys continue to do that, continue to find me. I hope that I can continue to entertain you. And you know, if you guys ever have anything that you want me to vlog about, or if you ever have any questions, I usually reply to all of my DMs, obviously, except for people who are just hating on me and miss the whole fact that I'm engaged. But I reply to all of my DMs. Um, so if you ever have a question, let me know. Thank you so much for tuning in and I hope that you tune in again.